Oh, good morning guys. It's super early. It's like, I don't know, it's not even nine yet. Uh, yeah, I'm up super early so I can get this side welded and then get the power steering block ripped apart and friggin' uh, got a lot of stuff to do, so, yeah. Let's see, remember what I was talking about yesterday? Flaring a line? Where's my fitting? <laughs> Oh man. Okay, that's better. Now I've actually got a fitting on there. Oh, I mangled the line trying to flare it though. But uh yeah, so I'll get this guy stoved on to there. And then I guess I'll start working on the box. It's gonna be a huge pain in the butt though, because I gotta take the ram off and everything because the hydraulic lines they don't like to twist so yeah all right we'll get that side all finished now um yeah box time and then uh maybe i'll start mapping out the exhaust i think i'm gonna come back to <coughs> uh i'm not sure where i'll be popping out with it if I go out here, like, I don't know. I can't go back any further though, because, uh, well, yeah, the gas tank's there and there's shocks there and everything. So I might might even dump it right here, right before the. Uh, that, uh, I don't know, I could fit a muffler right at the very front. Yeah, have that uh, pipe come off at a 90 and then go right into a muffler or something and then yeah and then straight out here so that that could work and still got so much body work to do dad's got to still finish this i don't know uh when he's planning on doing that and i got a weld uh little panel under here because uh that's no good that's no good yeah Oh, and then I gotta finish doing this axle seal, which won't take long, but I just, I don't know. Alright, well I'm just working on the axle seal now, and I found out why it's leaking. See that? There's another friggin' lip on it. So that, uh, that's gonna have to be replaced. But yeah, um, here is my disc brake bracket. It's that, that easy. Um... I had to modify this cup a bit. I got one stock stud in, and what I did is I replaced three of them with longer uh, 17, well, 17 mil heads, but uh, I think they're about the same size. They're, I don't know. But I had to weld them to this so that I could torque it down. Um, but yeah, this thing's simple. It just goes on there. just like that and then the disc brake caliper will bolt right there it was super easy to make this thing too um, I don't have the templates anymore but uh, I think I used two pieces of 5 sixteenths welded them together uh, as flat as I could um, if I'm not mistaken I drilled a couple holes Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just friggin' uh, welded her all across there. I honestly can't remember what I did. But uh, yeah, I just flat welded them. It was perfect. Alright, well I just traced out uh, the rough pattern of this so that uh, if you guys want, you can build them yourself. Um, I'll do a, like a little... I don't know, I'll make a template or something and uh, put it on the video. Okay, so for the rest of this mod, um, what you need is um, the front axle, the solid axle lugs, and what you do is you take, um, okay, first thing, this rotor will fit on the back of that, but there's a little lip on the back of the axle where um, it's on the back of this and it kind of flares out into this, like into the back flange part. You have to grind it down. Either that or you have to machine the inside of 
um, where the rotor sits. Like, uh, crap, I don't even have a spare one to show you guys. But um, it just needs a hair taken off it so that it'll fit to flush. And then uh, what you do is you press the uh, lugs through the back of the rotor through this thing. But then as you can see, you got this huge lip uh, sticking out. So what you need to do is get yourself some quarter inch uh, wheel spacers. All I did was I had a spare set of uh, disc brakes that were really, really worn out or the rotor, so all I did was I cut the uh, the face off it and I use that. And what this does is it takes up almost all of the uh, the shank of the bolt before the threads start and then uh, when you put your wheel on it'll finish off that last bit so you got all threads exposed. So if you didn't have this little uh, spacer there you bolt your wheel on, you tighten the lug nut as much as you can and your wheel would be flopping around because uh, you can't tighten it that much because uh, the, the bolt won't go onto the shank. So yeah, that's all I did for the rear discs and it works friggin' awesome. And to answer a question that I'm probably going to get, no, I would never ever go back to rear drums after converting and seeing what rear disc is like. It's a night and day difference. I'd never go back to drums. Not a chance. <laughs> well, I just talked to the guys at uh, Castlegar Machine and Chrome and my drive shaft is done. Freaking right. So I'll go and uh, pick that guy up and uh, I think that probably means that I'm done for the day because uh, once I'm out in Castlegar I'm just going to be hanging out with Susie and I usually get home late like 9 or something late. Shut up. Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I might might get home a little bit earlier, but uh, I don't know, I guess we'll see how it goes. Can't wait to get that drive shaft though, that's awesome. Well, I'm on my way to Castlegar now. I'm in a bit of a hurry because uh, the bank closes at 4.30, so I have to be there before they close to withdraw the money, and I have to get to the machine shop before 4.30 because they also close. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I remember my GoPro this time, so now I can turn it on and record people while I'm driving, because I'm sure I always run into idiots on the road, uh, not physically, but metaphorically, so, uh, yeah, I'll turn it on and start recording. Well, I, uh, didn't record anything interesting with the GoPro, so I'm just not going to include any of that footage, I'll just delete it. But um, I'm going to just keep recording every time I go out in the odd chance that I do catch something because you never know. You just never know. Man, these bugs are driving me nuts. They're all over me. <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, no, we didn't. Uh, are you freaking... I had one bug already land in my eye and I go, go into the bathroom and dig it out with a wet Q-tip. That sucked. I don't want to do it again. It almost happened, though. And then... That sucked. Anyways, yeah. So um, I got my drive shaft. I'll be putting that in tomorrow. I gotta, gotta, gotta rip apart the power steering box tomorrow. Find out what the crap. I think I know what's wrong with it. I'm hoping it's not the case, but it might be. So, oh well. Um, anyways, um, oh, also going to Silverwood, uh, big theme park with my girlfriend for her birthday on Saturday so I'll be bringing the GoPro along and uh, I'll be doing a bunch of roller coaster rides it's gonna be awesome um, where is it? I'm just kind of in the middle I'll show you guys kind of in the middle of uh, trying to make some kind of bar mount for the GoPro I don't have time to uh, order their kit so I gotta try to make my own um, but yeah, I'm going to try to figure out, look at it, the camera's jumpy. Anyways, I'm going to figure out how to make a mount on this for the GoPro. I'm actually thinking that I'll mount it, something like that, but probably on the side. So I'm going to have to get a couple uh, pieces of steel like this that'll fit in between there tight. And get three of them in a row and then weld a little nut to them or something. And then, uh, yeah, and I, I had to buy some wing nuts so that I can tighten it up by hand and not have to bring a wrench along. 
Yeah, I think this will work pretty good. It should. In theory it works, but I don't know if it'll slip around on the on the metal pipe or not, so I'm going to have to figure it out. I'll do some testing tomorrow when I build it. But, uh, anyways, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Take care.